Hey guys, my name is Jacqueline, and if you didn't catch my previous video, I am starting a game week challenge. And this is my first brainstorming video on week one, and our theme is Vortex. Today, since I decided to share my process with you, I'm going to work on my computer. Um, and as you can see, I have a uh, slideshow here that I will be drawing on, and I will have this available for you to download and check out um, in the link below or you can visit my portfolio and check out my blog. I'll also have the link to that below. But let's get started. So a vortex. Um, a vortex is like a tornado or um, a whirlpool. Um, I think that's pretty much it. It's more like a, like a swirling body of air or water. Um, so those are pretty straightforward things. Oops, didn't mean to cross it out. Um, so what can we do with this? Um, so I guess we could be the vortex, right? Like that's one thing that we could do. Um, we could, um, if we are the vortex, right, we could play as the vortex, so like as like this body of nature um, to what, like destroy things? Cause like vortexes destroy things, right? So like maybe, um, oh, maybe you could be playing like God. Um, and God is trying to destroy humanity, like with the Great Flood. In the Bible, there's lots of um, instances where God tries to wipe out everyone. Um, so maybe we could do something like that, where there's like the natural disasters, um, and one of those things could be vortex. So maybe um, we humans are, uh, actually, I, I don't know, I'm kind of not digging that now. Um, but I think we're in a, going on a great track. So like maybe instead of God, we could do like spirits, like, uh, wild spirits, I guess, like nature spirits. And um, humans are like living on the planet and they're building up civilizations and they're destroying things. They're destroying nature. Um, so then we could uh, play the, the spirits, I guess, so play the spirits, and if we were playing the spirits, then maybe we want to destroy humanity because they're destroying our world. Um, you could do this by being a vortex, so I'm thinking like with this kind of thing, you could probably do like a turn-based strategy or um, uh, maybe like a directional movement. So you're kind of just like controlling wherever you go with the goal to destroy humanity. Something like that. Um, or, um, so I think that's kind of like being the vortex. Um, we could probably do more with that. Um, Oops, let me, uh, I'm drawing, okay. Let me put this in a box so I don't do that again. Um, okay, so if we do more, um, what about like a tower defense, I guess? Uh, sorry, I kind of think in terms of like, if I'm watching the game or like imagining the game being played. Um, so if we did like this tower defense kind of thing, perhaps we would have, um, like our vortex is coming toward like some goal and your goal as the player would be to stop it like so um you could buy like things to put in the way or um to kind of stop that yeah i don't know really for sure this could be cool though if you're like um doing the, like a two-player type game where one player is like here protecting and then the other player is trying to advance, um, kind of like King of the Hill, I guess, um, something like that. Um, I guess like vortexes are whirlpools, so we could do something in the water, like you could be traveling into the Bermuda Triangle, 
um, and you have to navigate your way through it. So like um, the whole time you're in here, you're just trying to avoid obstacles and not be killed by the whirlpools and other terrible things in the Bermuda Triangle. So you just kind of avoid the the whirlpools and um, vortexes. Um, or maybe like, uh, um, like in the Wizard of Oz, Dorothy gets sucked up into a tornado. So maybe we could have a game that takes entire place inside the tornado and the player is kind of just floating around in there and having to avoid like things that are going to hit them. So they kind of have to like try to not get hit by things and survive the tornado, I guess. Um, uh, there could be like another kind of game where you just don't get sucked in. Um, but that I think that's kind of similar to like the Bermuda Triangle one. Uh, oh, <laughs> what about like a superhero game, right? We have Captain Vortex. Um, and his power could be that he can create vortexes and he's trying to save people from crime. That might be <laughs> good. Like, so maybe you kind of have like the city and you just kind of walk around and you witness crimes and then you have to try to save people from crime. Um, uh, I don't know. Um, this is a hard one, I think. Let's see what else we can do, come up with. Um, I guess a vortex is kind of like a, like a shape, like it has a, has a shape. So maybe we could do something like with this kind of shape. I don't know what that would be yet. Um, you know what this kind of reminds me of? Uh, like Taz, right? the Tasmanian Devil from the Looney Tunes. So maybe we could do something like that. I guess that could kind of go back into like the whole Captain Vortex thing. I don't know. Um, where is it? Oh, turn on the light there. It's getting kind of dark in here. Um, hmm. I guess we could do like maybe it could be kind of like a story arc so a game just kind of has like the story arc of stopping a vortex or creating one so like maybe um, there's some bad guys that are trying to create a vortex to wipe people out and your job is like it's like a stealth I guess game because you want to infiltrate and stop them um could even just kind of focus on like one interaction that may be fun um so kind of doing like a boss fight where the um where the boss kind of uses these vortexes to fight the player and you have to uh, kind of figure out how you want to how to avoid them and how to kill the boss that might be fun um, I'm wondering how we could use this as like a mechanic because um, it might be cool to have to like maybe move things around because you know like when you're in the tub um, and I'm just gonna draw a really bad tub here you're emptying the, and over here sometimes you get that like vortex or just whenever you're um, emptying like a sink or something like that um, and then the things in the tub like if you are a kid you'll notice that sometimes the toys get stuck in there um, in the vortex so like maybe you could use vortexes like start and stop them to kind of solve puzzles I guess Yeah. This is kind of what the bathtub is for. I'm just gonna like, this is a bathtub. Mm. Um, trying to think like, 
<sighs> Make like cool stuff that you do. I'm sure some of the cool like stuff. I'm trying to think about how you use it as like a mechanic. Like I think the start and stop vortex thing is cool. It definitely makes it like more of a mechanic, I guess. Um vortex. Um <laughs> hmm. yeah that might be cool like i'm trying to think like how we could do this one like flesh out maybe a, just like a little bit more behind like what would happen with this because like what i'm envisioning is like you have like this box with like some buttons and the buttons control like if a vortex gets created um <laughs> So like maybe we could also move them. Oh, that would be so cool because like um, you could have like paths that they can move on. So like you have to move them, but like they have boundaries. So like let's say this vortex can move from here to here. This is where the thing you want to move is and here is the goal. But you can't just use this one vortex. Let's say there's another one and it can move like this. Um, and then maybe there's some, like there's an obstacle here. You can maybe have like another one over here, something like that. And then, um, like you could do something like this and then, but you need to, Right, so you have to figure out how to move them around the obstacles in order to get it. And then we could also even include like other kinds of traps, like things that, um, things that like stop the vortexes. Cause like they could actually like lose their strength when they hit a obstacle. Oh, what if they can only move in one direction? Like once they get activated, they just go. So you have to make sure you activate them from the right side. So like here you activate it and it would go all the way down here because it didn't hit an obstacle. Or let's say that the obstacle that it hit was here. And then um, like this is an obstacle here. Then you would, then you could do this one and it would go here and then you would have an obstacle here. So you'd have to like, figure out how to create them to, in order to do what, like get to the goal. That could be super cool. I actually really like this video. I wanna like flesh that one out more. I'm gonna write that one down um, in more detail. So move vortexes. Um, to reach goal. And then can only move in one direction. Right, so then like when you get to the end, so I'm actually gonna draw this out some more. Let's say this is our play space. Um, this is kind of like the start, so you like have to get this item. The player could have like a certain number of like vortexes he can create, so like let's say we can create four vortexes and we're trying to get it to the triangle. So X is start, triangle is goal. Okay, so um, you'd have uh, maybe like some obstacles, like I'm drawing this like it's a warehouse, but I'm not really for sure what the obstacles would be. So like you'd have to start, you can't go up because there's a wall, right? So you would have to send it like this way until it hit an obstacle. So like, let's just say there's an obstacle here. And when it hits an obstacle, the vortex vanishes and it subtracts um and you'll go down one so let's say the, it'll reach here and um that'll be good right so then let's say you've got like an obstacle here and you start from here you would want to send it this way um because you could possibly send it back right and you don't want to go up or down you want to go here it would stop here 
because it hit the obstacle. And then you would have to decide like which way to go. And I think this would be a really cool, um, a really cool game to make. Like this is a really good one. Uh, so then you could do like obstacle here. You send it this way, stops here, and then you would send it. Oh, I went back. Okay. Um, then uh, you would send it here <laughs> and then that would get you the goal and that would be four right one two three four um so yeah i think that this one's really cool i like this one a lot um okay uh so i think that's a that's a really good one um probably the one i'll do but let's just try to come up with a couple more ideas i guess just to Make sure we're not just jumping into a bad idea. Because usually the first idea you have isn't always the best one, right? So, um, trying to like think like what we could do. Um, I guess like what, like, um, I guess I could flesh out like the tower defense thing more. Um, so I guess with the tower defense idea, defense, um, and then if this is just like a one player game, just cause that's gonna be easier to create. Um, I'm kind of thinking something like plants versus zombies, maybe? Nothing like complex, everything moves in a straight line. You have like your, your base here. And then you would have like these like kind of like rows, I guess. Um, and you could even have a bad guy just kind of over here, like, uh, mm, bad guy maybe like a wizard or something creating these and then they get to pick like which um so this like create a vortex in like one and then this will move down and the player will be able to like create um blocks which will stop the vortex um these will probably have like some sort of like health i guess because um, we probably just don't want it to just like disappear when it hits the block. Um, or if it does, the block just disappears immediately as well. So this is a block. Um, and then this is like the vortex. Um, yeah, so they would just kind of pick where and then it would travel. And if it hits here, it damages our base. So I'll just do this and then do like minus one heart to base right and it's probably not gonna be minus one but it's not a big deal um okay so yeah so that's what i'm kind of imagining they can move at like a certain speed to give the players plenty of like time to um pick where they want to put more um i'm thinking that if we did make this a two player one player would play the bad guy the other player would play the on the defense of the base um, I think with the bad guy, I guess if we had time, although it's really important to think about your scope when you're doing these kinds of things, so you don't want to make anything too big, you want to make it like just right or something that you can accomplish easily and you can always expand later, but it's so like, if it's just single player, the bad guy would just be automatic, like he, we'd, we'd have to do some sort of AI to determine, um, which lane, uh, to use and like how to spawn them um and then we'd have to come up with like a um kind of a currency or economy for um buying like the the blocks um and how the player will be able to buy more and like at which frequency. Uh, it doesn't have to be like super duper balanced, I think, like starting out, but we do want to try to create like a good game. So this is just something where some of the things we're gonna have to think about. Okay, so that's kind of what I'm thinking for the tower defense. Um, I'm gonna write economy over here. And that'd be cool to design because I haven't really designed too many economies. Um, I guess if we did have time for two player using like um, some APIs in Unity or something, because um, the only way I know how to do it, you would have to create like a 
whole system for the bad guy too. Um, and then make it update, which is fine. Okay, that, that's the tower defense. Like, it's just vortexes with the tower defense. Like, this could be cool. I kind of like this idea. I really like the other one better, but like, this one's not bad. Um, what else do we talk about? Let's see, we talked about maybe doing like a boss fight. I guess we could try to flesh out like being the vortex a bit more. Be the vortex. Um, so like this one I kind of talked about like the spirit wilds or the wild spirits I mean are like sad because humanity is wiping out their environment. <laughs> I guess they're just like destroying nature. So you are, so you like play as the, as a spirit, as the vortex spirit. I can't even spell. Um, so I guess like here is the play area. This is kind of what I'm imagining. Um, settlements, I guess, would pop up over time. So I'm thinking maybe like grid based here. Um, or maybe just like eight directional. Um, so I'm just gonna say either, I'm thinking it would probably either be turn-based and or um, real-time. I think either way that th those could be fun. We can, um, sorry, we can flesh out more of like what that might look like in a bit. So I'm thinking it's like uh, little villages and stuff get, you know, they pop up here and there. Um, and they start out small and they get bigger and bigger over time. So like the boundaries of this city or town would expand and expand and expand. Um, and the goal of the spirit is to destroy humanity, I guess, or like maintain some balance. Um, so you would play this little tornado guy. <laughs> And you would go around and you would like just kind of go into or go to these like villages and do stuff to destroy them. Um, so this could be like a series of attacks you can do, maybe that costs like um, some sort of resource or um, or I'm thinking maybe just like a fast paced game. Um, so like this you would just go over here, you'd stay on this, you'd just sit on top of this until it's gone and then all the while you're doing that another village is popping up somewhere else right and then you'd have to you know go over here destroy that one and so the goal is to wipe out humanity but i feel like um really humanity will be spreading out um and they'll just kind of be popping up and up and up and so it's kind of like this um, running back and forth, um, destroying the people, and trying to like wipe out humanity as a whole. Um, I'm not for sure if I would want this necessarily to be obtainable. I think it would be really fun and um, ha add a lot of replayability just to like have to do that over and over and over. But I'm not for sure like how that would last. Like after a couple of minutes, do you think like you'd be bored with that or you would want to keep going? Um, I think to keep going, you would want to probably speed up time or speed up the growth over time. So they keep coming up faster and faster and faster and faster. And we could even add some like bonuses for the player by like giving them like more power, uh, making them bigger, um, whatever for each city destroyed. Like, I think that would be really cool. So then they could move faster or they could do, uh, take less time to destroy the cities. Um, so that way they could keep up with the growth, but the growth would just continue to go up and up and up and up. Um, creating this challenge for the player. Uh, so I think that is a cool idea as well. I think those are kind of like my three main ones. Um, I, I'm not gonna lie, I think 
out of all of them i really love this one the most this is the um having to like do the puzzles of getting to the end um maybe having to move like a ball or just something i don't really know what what that would be quite yet i'd have to definitely flesh that out more um i think this one would be fun too um although i think it would really just kind of be a reskin of um of uh the garden versus plants versus zombies there we go um because really it's functionally it seems like it's gonna work the same and i'm not really for sure like at this point how i would differentiate like that gameplay versus this one um except for the fact that it's themed differently uh and i think this one sounds fun and really fast paced and cool i think this one would be like a really interesting game to make i just i think like overall um like i like this one i like being able to be the vortex uh, the theme is, a, like, the theme of this game, I guess, or, like, the, um, behind story is kind of, like, depressing, though. Um, so I think this would just be a real-time game where you move eight directions. Uh, and I want it to be fast-paced. Uh, maybe even with, like, a timer, we could have, like, cool uh, UI. I just, um, I don't know, I'm really, I think, between this one and the, and the puzzle one from earlier. So this one and this one. Um, there's so many pros and cons to making goals. Because this one has a lot of cool puzzles and you can create, you could probably do a lot of them and you could really expand it. Um, whereas this one would probably just be like one level and it just gets harder and harder and harder over time. So this one would have like a lot of replayability, but it might not be as fun or maybe as rewarding. I'm not for sure. Let's make a pros cons list, I guess. I don't know which one I want to work on. Because like this one I really like, I really feel like I want to do this one. But I also really want to do this one. And neither of them makes sense. Like, I guess this one makes more sense, like, story-wise, like, why you're playing a Vortex. Um, this one, you're kind of creating them. Like, this could be cool because it could be, like, an experiment or whatever. Uh, I might just have to flip a coin. Alright, I'm going to go with the puzzle game. I think that is going to be the most fun to make. I think it'll probably be the most fun to play. All right, so this is the one we're doing. We're going with the puzzle game. Woohoo! Okay, nice. Um, so that's pretty much my brainstorm session. I will, I'm gonna be working on this more and I'm gonna be creating um, time-lapse videos, I guess, of my workflow and what my process is that I'll be posting every day. Um, and then on Thursday, I'll be posting my postmortem and I'll be talking about all of the aspects of working on this game. I just want to thank you so much for watching my brainstorm sesh and I hope that it helps you figure out what you're going to do for this week's challenge, um, Vortex. Feel free to like and subscribe on YouTube. You can also find me on LinkedIn. I'll post the link below as well as join our Discord server, Game of Week. Um, and the Discord link will be below as well. On our, on our server, we're going to be collaborating, uh, talking about um, cool ideas that can help you guys brainstorm as well as you can show off your work each week. Thank you.